In today's video, you're going to get to see a beautiful 1987 Cadillac. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for your thumbs up, for you subscribing to my channel, and also remembering to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being released. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing a gentleman. His name is Mo. He has an absolutely stunning, brings back so many memories for me personally, of a 1987 Cadillac Fleetwood Brom de Elegance. This car is just oozing luxury. This was in fact a gift to his father that he found because when his father came to Canada, he started a taxi business using the Cadillac as one of the vehicles. So it is an incredible vehicle. It's also one of the last Cadillacs to be made out of Detroit. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this. Oh my Lord. <laughs> what a beauty. Oh. Enough to make a grown man cry. There's something about a Cadillac. How gorgeous. Mo, rev the engine for me. Let me hear her. Oh, she's, I don't even hear anything. She's so quiet. And honk the horn for me. Okay. That brings up memories. You can turn her off. Come on out, my friend. So tell me what you have. So this right here is a 1987 Cadillac Brom d'Elegance. Uh, it was uh, a gift that I gifted to my father. You gifted this to your father? I gifted this to my father. I hope, Neil. Nikhil, I hope you're listening to this. <laughs> I want you to pay attention and make notes, guys. Okay. Yeah, no, I gave this to my father in, uh, actually, it was the first year of the pandemic. And uh, I think it was 2020. And um, I was, I've been hunting for one for maybe the last, I want to say, 10 years. And um, I actually almost bought the, uh, the Maple Leafs Cadillac that... Um, Forget what the gentleman's name was, but Maple Leafs had a Cadillac. It was also an '88. Really? Um, it was okay. a light blue uh, back in the '80s and '90s. Like painted in the leaf colors? Yeah, 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 wow, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, so we, I almost bought that one, but um, the deal didn't go through. And then I found this one down by Parklawn and Lakeshore, actually. Right. And the individual that had this vehicle, um, I believe his name was Mike. Super nice gentleman. I have a I have a few videos of us uh, talking back and forth on the car. Um, he actually received this car from his father-in-law, his late father-in-law. Okay. And his father-in-law was the first owner of this vehicle. He was a doctor in Toronto. Bought this car back in '89, I think. So, um, a little background on the '87 before I get into that. The '87 uh, Cadillac Brom d'Elegance was the last vehicle to be manufactured in uh, Detroit before um, they moved uh, their, I f believe their facility was moved to Texas. I'm not too sure, but it was the last line of Cadillacs in, in, in Detroit before wow. the 88, 89 and 90 was, was moved. Um, so his father-in-law uh, received the vehicle and um, kept it. Um, he then moved over to Europe and the car was stored inside for, I believe, around maybe eight years in a heated garage, temperature and humidity controlled garage. Fantastic. And, um, and then his uh, father-in-law, when he was overseas, he unfortunately passed. He received the car and uh, drove it around for maybe like a month. And then he decided uh, to keep it outside. He unfortunately kept it outside for a year and a bit. Right. Um, and I think it was fate that I would catch it right on time. Before it yeah, got too bad. Yeah, before bad, it right. got too bad. <laughs> they call this patina now. Exactly, so you know, right? exactly. <laughs> so uh, I ended up um, 
find it in, uh, finding it on Kijiji actually. Wow. And when I showed up, the car was flat on its wheels. Uh, car wouldn't start. Um, you know, it's been sitting around outside for a year and a half, no battery. Um, so what I ended up doing was I spoke to my um, my neighbor, which is he's he's a savior of mine when it comes to anything mechanical. Right. And I said, listen, I got a car. I'm trying to surprise my father for his birthday. Come down. So we went to see the car, and I knew the moment it would crank over and it had a little bit of compression, I was good to go. So that's what ended up happening. Uh, we cut a really good deal, in my opinion. Um, we got the car towed. A really good friend of mine uh, that works for Lions actually came by and helped me tow the car, and he was a huge part of the story as well. His name is Hani. Awesome. Um, uh, so, you know, uh, along with Angelo and Hani, we got the car out of the driveway. Uh, it was on a hill, actually, a hill driveway. So it took us around 40 minutes to get it out of there. And um, so we got it out of there, brought it over to the shop. They did some work on it, brought it back. Uh, and then as I was pulling up to the house to show it to him, to surprise him, while uh, my, my mom and, my, uh, my, and his brother and my uncle were there, the car actually started turning off on me. <laughs> so it was like one of it's those like, things doesn't want to go was any like, oh exactly. So it was like one of those things I was just like, you know, it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. We're going to make it happen. And then it ended up happening. I got some aerial footage of, of the car being pulled up and whatnot. And he was ecstatic about it. So oh, wow. um, ever since then, I've been working on restoring the vehicle. Uh, the re what you see right now on the exterior is 100% original. I have not touched anything on the exterior. The vinyl roof. Everything. Get no, well, I here. believe I believe this may have been retouched. To be right. quite frank with you, because the 87s, 88. Well, most of the 80s and 90s, their their stitching came in the color of the vinyl. Okay. So I believe this has been retouched, but that's not something uncommon with these cars. For sure. Because like it, it's, it's the first thing to go. It's right? the first thing to go. You know, they sit outside in the sun and and whatnot. But you know, it's, I have a thing about cars with vinyl roofs because you don't see them no, anymore. And it's no. just elegant. and whoever did it's this cool. did an actually amazing job. The padding so. on it is yeah. really nice. The stitching on it is absolutely perfect. There's a there's a custom sunroof in this. So and that was original too to the car. So some cars out of factory, you could get, I believe, a sunroof. I could be wrong. Don't quote okay. me on that. But this one is custom. Amazing. This one's custom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Um, so, you know, we did that. Um, I like these. Yeah, they, they light up oh at night. Those gosh. are really nice. Hey, do you remember? I think it was the old 98. It used to actually pop out or something like that. There was something unique. I just remember back in the day, there was a certain vintage car. I'm thinking it's a, a Buick. Maybe. Maybe something. Or a Lincoln. Or, or something. Yeah, there was yeah. one that actually had the thing pop out. And I thought, whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love the wheels on this, too. So uh, there's, a, there's actually a story behind the wheels, too. Oh, you have um, a story about everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. it. All right. I believe God made me meet some beautiful people in this world so that could help me actually give this to my father. So Do, do I fall into that list? Oh, 100%. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> We're all there. We're all there. So when I bought the car, it had the original wheels on it, and they were shot. Like, you couldn't drive on them for safety reasons. Right. So, again, it was one of those Facebook and Kijiji marketplaces and whatnot. And I ended up meeting a gentleman by the name of Pat. And he lives maybe like two hours away from here. Oh yes. And I, you know, I messaged him. I said, "Listen, do you have anything?" Because he had, he has a Cadillac as well. He has two. And uh, he said, "Look, I have some wheels." And I said, "Look, here's the story. I got a car for my father. I'm trying to get it back on the road before February 27. And can you sell me the wheels?" He ended up driving two hours down to Toronto oh with my. the wheels to give them to me. At a beautiful price. I mean, it's I I got a steal you of a deal. You gotta love people like that. Yeah, You're out of their way is just incredible. So, that that is so. So, sweet. so I gotta yeah, ask been, you, Mo. You bought this for your dad. What's special about the Cadillac? Why is it so meaningful to your father? So, um, you know, we we are. My father did come to this country as an immigrant, um, and he's been here since late eighties. Uh, well, 1990, let's say. Right. And when he came here, um, you know, he he started up a few businesses, and um, he had two of these actually. So he had a gold one, and then he had a well, he had two blue ones. One that was painted gold, so it because he was part owner and shareholder and whatnot of Golden Taxi and whatnot. Oh, and back in the day. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So, he had one painted gold, and it was it was 
you know, it was a mo it was monumental back in the 90s in Mississauga. So. For sure, yes. And he had a blue one, and unfortunately... Uh, back then, uh, gas was what? Like oh, yeah, yeah. Cents no, or whatever, yeah. and like, what is it, two bucks? Or <laughs> back then, you can drive V8s and not worry Speaking about Speaking of anything. gas, this must cost a fortune even it, to drive it's, around. It's a few bucks, yes, yeah. <laughs> Just to start it off. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. But, um, yeah, so he had those, and I remember, you know, my dad was probably the only one... He has a big family. He has like, ten brothers and two sisters. Wow. And, you know, you know, his baby back. And this is the very car? This is the actual, this is, well, uh, not the actual, act I, I found the actual car. Really? The actual car doesn't exist anymore. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. Okay. But this is the same year, same color, same model, same wheels. A close wheels. replica. We'll call it you, that? You wouldn't know the difference. Wow. wow. Yeah. And, you I know, back in the 90s, there was a few of his brothers here, but he was the only one with a really nice car like this. Awesome. And, you know, growing up, we always looked at my dad and, you know, and what he had and, like he just he has good taste so he had this car and we would always go out and in and unfortunately he had to sell both of them so he could put food on the table for us okay you know everybody goes through hard can times I open sometimes the door? yeah yeah go okay. right ahead I'm go gonna, right ahead you carry on tell me your story and you know sometimes you know you can uh, you you fall through hard times and whatnot but uh, he sold them and growing up me and my brother my younger brother Shadi we always promised each other that we would get it we would buy this car back for wow. him. Now, unfortunately, my little brother did pass away in 2011, oh, so nice. there was one thing that I needed to do was to carry through on that promise. And I didn't, re I wasn't really able to until <laughs> mid-pandemic <laughs> or the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, yeah, so in, in, in February of 2020, we made, uh, I made true to that promise and I gave it to him on his birthday. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was probably the first time I uh, I see my dad that happy to see, <laughs> you know, his baby Well, well I got to stop you for a second. I'm just looking at the interior. It's like you're sitting on a couch. Isn't yeah, it yeah. just incredible? It's, it's a little messy right now. But... Oh, don't worry about that. But it's just, <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's yeah, got it's, class. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The, the, yeah, it's... Uh... There is something really... Look at the, how plush everything is. Mm -hmm. I have a memory and the of my first. attention to detail as well. I mean, you got everything. Cadillac signs all everywhere. Over, right? But even this, the door mm -hmm. handles, the and ashtrays. Got, and... Well, back in the '90s, people were allowed oh, to smoke course. in their cars, yes. and you got ashtrays <laughs> everywhere. That's just amazing. My first memory of a Cadillac is when I first came to Canada. This is back in '82. I worked on a tobacco farm okay. in Delhi. Right, that was my first job here. I hated the damn job, but hey, it was okay. It, it, it paid for school, so. I did that for a while and I remember meeting the farmer and he says, oh, I'm going to take you out to the field. And I thought, oh, he'd come up in a big old pickup truck or something. He came in one of these. Really? I sat in for the first time and I thought, Frank, he says, you're going to, I'm, you're going to drive in the field with this? He says, yeah, yeah it's totally fine. Oh, I yeah. says, surely it's, you know, it's going to be up and down. Oh, yeah. Nothing. It's like you're floating. Oh, like, yeah. it was it's, unbelievable. it's absolutely beautiful. And the trunk, I could open up the trunk yes, if you'd please. like. Yes, Yeah, let's um, have a look. Yeah, no, these cars are, the, the suspension, so actually these cars had aromatic suspension back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, so the rear, the rear it, but it was only for the back, where it would adjust its height depending on the... Um, is that the, power assist as well? No, so what, what it is, it's, it's, soft, it's soft close. Oh, wow. So, it's soft close. And again, original technology. Yeah. Isn't that something? Well, my car right now, and I drive a Mercedes, doesn't have the soft <laughs> There, there you go. That'll you. teach you. <laughs> wow. So, Look at the size of mm -hmm. this. Man. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the the joke is is that this trunk can fit a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of people and a lot For of things. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, this is the original tire of the car as well. Wow. Back from 87. Right? Incredible. And it's still got all that uh, Cadillac uh, yeah, yeah, logo yeah, on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, though. It's a very nice, yeah. What is that part there? So this is the, um, uh, it's for your AC unit. Okay. Yeah, it's just because I, I need to replace it now. Um, so basically it just holds uh, the AC that comes in Got and it. out in the air and whatnot. Yeah. So. Cool. But yeah, it's been, uh, it's, it's different and the gas tank is oh, right. It's always special to where see is that. It? Where is it? Here we are. Right here. Oh, love it. <laughs> so when I get up to the gas station, I don't. It doesn't matter what well, side you, I'm you, on. You block 15 other cars, <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's their problem. Right. So this is the five-liter engine. This is the yeah. Can we take a, a look at the five-liter? Uh, uh, the, uh, the engine, engine, sure. Yeah, no problem. Mind you, it takes me half an hour to walk from the back <laughs> to the front in this thing. 
Now the engine bay is, it's actually going to go into the shop this year just to just get everything just touched up a little bit. So this at least is the before and uh, hey, but still, mm -hmm. look at the size of this darn thing. So I didn't really replace anything on the engine bay. So except the battery and then I, I just got a rebuilt, I rebuilt the original alternator on it. Yeah. It is a Quadrajet Rochester, um, I believe, uh, carb on here. Wow. Mm hmm All original. All original, all original. Yeah, nothing's been touched. It's a beautiful... And you can see the patina on it. It's just oh, absolutely yes. amazing. You, you pay extra for that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I would not touch more. it. No, no, that's, that's priceless. The only what is the actual name of this color move? Do you remember? Uh, this, I don't know, actually. That's a great question. Because it's like this metallic and it's just, mm -hmm. it pops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that I, I don't know. But um, yeah, no, it's definitely all original in here. But it is a common color. I remember seeing lots of uh, Cadillacs in this vintage and this type mm -hmm. of color. And I just loved it. it is. But it's very hard to find this color now. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you yeah. only find red. You'll find like the light blue, the you custom see the colors. You see the whites. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a huge Cadillac community here in in Toronto as well. Like I know a few of our friends that have them, but and so there should be. I think yeah. again, this is one of the most elegant cars you can get. And truly, when you think of American cars, it's Cadillac, yeah. right? It's, it has it's to. Be. Well, back in the '90s and early 2000s, what did you drive? If you drove a Cadillac, you've made you're it. living yeah. your best life. <laughs> you've oh made yeah, one hundred percent. Exactly. This was a sign of you know accomplishment yes, for so many yes, people. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely. And, and they held their value. I mean, you know, to this day, these these range between you know ten to ten to fifteen if everything's maintained properly and right taken on. care of correctly, right? So I notice your your tires here are from Canadian Tire. Yes, I mentioned them like fifty times in my uh, videos. You think they sponsor me or something? But anyhow, well, with let's the ask white Canadian walls, Tire for a sponsor. Shall we do that? Yeah, <laughs> uh, the white walls. Yes. You actually managed to find them at Canadian Tire. Yeah. So here's the thing with that is that. I, what I found out, and I, was, and I wasn't privy to this information prior to this, but um, some Canadian tires hold product that others don't. Some? Okay. Yes. So okay. those that are very far from here, two, three hours away, you know, up in the fields. Yeah, maybe like a small community. Yeah, they Yay. would probably have them. And this is where that individual bought them from. He actually paid $80 a tire. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, so shout out to Pat, man. He's uh All right. he's he's done me justice. I've actually got Pat, up I'm to looking for a set of tires for a <laughs> 73 MG white wall, preferably. You know, so wow. yeah, it was great. Um the hubcaps are all original too from it. Um, That's magical. I love this. Yeah, very, very, very nice car. And the suspension on it again, I mean the car itself is just it just it bounces. Right. So speaking of suspension and bouncing, should we to go for a little drive? Where'd you go to school? Uh, here, Toronto. And then I did UFT. my master's in, uh, in Lebanon, actually. I went overseas for my awesome. master's degree. I went over for a vacation. And while I was down there, I found out that they had their master's degree while visiting the university by accident. And uh, I decided to stay within like five days. I stayed for four years. Wow. <laughs> That's a vacation <laughs> yeah. that went a little astray, but yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. I just noticed, look at all these uh, settings here for the seats. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Six-way power adjust? Mm -hmm. Wow. And yeah, they all work? The seats go all the way. Yeah, yeah. They look, wow. You even have seat belts in the middle. You can fit three people in the front. Usually my niece and nephew sit up here. I love and that bench approach, right? Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah. love it. Oh, my. Yeah, we take them out usually. Um, oh, Mo, I could just sit here, man. You don't have to drive anywhere. It's 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 a beautiful. It's a joy. It's, it's it's comfortable, isn't it? Gosh, yeah, it's better than my couch at home. Mm -hmm. And I'm serious. Like this is really it's very comfortable. Nice. If you pay attention to the details back then, they had their Cadillac symbols everywhere. The colors just perfectly matched everywhere. The steering wheel had that wood grain in it. Yes. That you know very rarely do you find nowadays. Um, you got your your uh, your gas yeah. gauge right up front. Um, the old radios you have. I love the shift in yeah, there as yeah, well. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So and the wiper buttons and the uh, oh yes, cruise control. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and then you have your auto dimming. Too. Oh, you gotta like that. You know, so <laughs> man, it's uh, but the best part about it is that this car, for example, right here, when you open this up, all you gotta yes. do is like it's it's just 
bang it yes. closed, right? And then it had small little areas for your coffee. Uh, of course. You because back that. then, driving drive throughs didn't exist. Yeah, it's true. Right? Speaking of coffee, this has got to be Canadian tire. That is Canadian tire. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Again, one more time. All right. Look All right. at the size of the door. It's solid. There you go. <sighs> it's a good feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let me just put this down for a minute. Sure. And then I'll start it up once you... Uh... All righty, let's do this. There's something about the sound of this car, isn't there? Oh, yeah. You feel like a king driving this thing. It's different. You know what? This car would probably get more attention than like a Lamborghini or a high-end vehicle yeah. when we're in traffic, right? So Okay, so we're gonna pop out of here. We're gonna go into uh, Streetsville. Sure. And we'll turn right at the stop sign there. Look at the ride on this thing. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable. Totally. It brings back so many fond memories of how, how cars used to feel, right? Doesn't when you're it? driving around. Just lovely. And then the power steering on it is like, is, Atlas, isn't it? Oh my God! It is. It is definitely better than the like. I again, I drive a Mercedes, and this power steering is probably ten times easier to turn. Yeah, especially right? for something this size. Mm -hmm. This has got got to be what twenty. This is twenty two and a half feet. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think even garages are big enough nowadays to house many of these cars. No, nope, no. I got a quarter inch in the front, a quarter inch in the rear when we park <laughs> it in the garage. But it just works, right? Yep, yep, yep. Meant to be. That's another side that's note, it, for that's sure. That's it, you know. Imagine you bring it home and it doesn't fit. It's like, oh my God, what do I do now? Okay, we'll turn right here. Oh, the ride is just spectacular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we ended up, I ended up um, switching out the brakes myself i did the calipers and rotors so and you whatnot. do a lot of this work yourself yeah i did it Very well cool. the, the reason the reason i wanted to do it myself was for the sentiment yes i didn't want anybody to really touch the car although there was a shop that helped me out with it just in the beginning yeah. but um i ended up you know restoring the gas tank that was on here i took it to a restore uh like a lining shop yeah um rebuilt the carb um anything that had to do with uh, we had a, uh, a, va uh, a vacuum leak in the, in the beginning, okay. uh, which I ended up fixing myself and just getting making sure that that was okay. Um, but anything and everything else when it comes to electrical and mechanical, I'm the one that takes care of all the cars. Could be. I'm impressed. I'm an engineer myself, mm -hmm. but I mean, I don't think uh, I, I would want to take apart parts of my MG. Oh, I'm just afraid yeah. I'd probably take it apart, but how do I put it back together again? Oh, so that's why uh, I'm always a little afraid, but anyhow. YouTube DIYs are always You're the You're right best there. Thing. <laughs> You're right there, for sure. Yes, I got to be a little bit braver when doing that, but yeah. uh, anyhow. But the ride is gorgeous on this thing. It's nice, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful it's ride. It's just the feel, the sound. Mm -hmm. The sunroof as well, does it actually leak at all, or it's uh, good? No, it, it opens up, it pops open, and, and everything. It's, it's wow. great. Yeah, yeah, no, it's whoever did it or did an and amazing And you actually job. got this little shield thing as mm -hmm, well that mm -hmm. pops across? Now, I just got to restore the uh, the inner lining of the of the roof here right. this year, uh, hopefully. Because um, that's all original from the yeah, That's all original, that's correct, yes, yes. And these two buttons here, I'm assuming, are for the for dome lights. lights as well. Yeah, so cool. Right. And, and the little then, extra one there on the... Uh, this is for the sunroof. All right. And yeah. what is that little pocket for? This? Uh, well, I don't know. I, but what I was told by my father, this is where he used to put his cigarettes. Oh, right on. Okay, so cigarette holder. Just take holder. one off and light one and get the go. I'm surprised Cadillac didn't make a feeding system. For oh, that. you know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a, it's it's a, it's a great. I mean, the Cadillac symbol in the front hood. Oh, for sure. It's it's. It, it says it all. It's so symbolic. Yeah. You know what I do love about the Cadillac still? That generation after generation of caddies, mm -hmm. you still have the rear tail lights, the vertical line. You can mm -hmm. tell a Cadillac, oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is very beautiful. All right. Um, yes, you can always tell the Cadillac because of the vertical rear brake lights. Mm -hmm. And they maintain that all all this time and I think it's fabulous even the uh, the new Escalade yes yeah That's right. you can it's tell right. them off a mile away so yeah Cadillac is definitely that that luxury brand um, you know it, it would be it would be a shame to see them um, step away from that but you know it's 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 impeccable it is what totally they've done. yes for an American car maker I think you know what it's recognized globally 
Like I, I grew up in the UK, and even there, everybody says, "Oh, Cadillac," and mm-hmm. it, it's 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 a brand. It's there's something special about it. Everybody says, "Oh, it's the Cadillac of cars," or "It's the Cadillac of food," or whatever right. the heck it is. So right. that definition as to how good it is. Nobody says that's a Rolls Royce of cars. That's right. Maybe sometimes, but not as often. But <laughs> well, you have to give credit where credit is due, and and, and you know, it's the history there for Cadillac has been has been monumental for Definitely. everybody. Yeah. Well, so it's been it's been fun. This this vehicle has done me. You know, it's it's crazy. I wish everybody right now that's watching this could actually smell a Cadillac. For sure, right? Because it has that. It's scent got this to it. un- unique scent to it, yeah. and you're right. It's just there is something magical about this car. It's it is it is quite different. And then even the, the they have their own. You oh know, wow! That they have highs or lows <laughs> that you can dim. <laughs> So it's definitely it's the, those little touches because they don't have to do all those things, right? When you think about it, uh, we'll turn right in now. Uh, this street, Water Street. I'm so impressed, though, Mo, that you know what? To the extent you went to to try and keep this promise alive for you know to, to provide this car back mm-hmm. to your dad, I mm-hmm. think it's it really is. It says a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll turn right again. Yeah, no, you know what? It's. Um I, I, I sincerely do believe that you're 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 only held to your word if you ca- if you're able to keep it and um, you know with 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 everything that's been happening um, and how the world is now affected by COVID and so on and so forth, I think it was it was very important that I was able to keep to my promise um, and and be able to to, to see that smile for sure and we'll just light right back up again. right so yes. it's been it's been it's been absolutely great. No, and I bet you your dad is extremely proud of you. I'm sure, and uh, it's uh, you know it's just a testament to how well you've been raised, mm-hmm. right? To mm-hmm. to sort of come through with that promise and to to keep a car like this going and as long as you can. And it's, I think it's wonderful. And we'll turn back left here. Yeah, no, it was it was great. It was great. I think I I did the right thing, and. Um, and yeah, see, and, and it's, that's that's the kind of stuff that, that I love. <laughs> you gotta love it, right? Yeah, that's that's exactly it. <laughs> yes, that is why we do what we do. Thank you. It's an '87. <laughs> oh, you got more. <laughs> you got a little fan club going, Mo. <laughs> well, I mean, Sh- should we I'll talk about the into- price of gas as well? <laughs> 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 you gentlemen have a good day. Yeah, and you know what? It's it's those kind of things that make me never want to sell this thing. You absolutely. Know? And, uh, and you won't get that with your Mercedes. No, absolutely not. <laughs> right. No, so. no, no. And you know, it's 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 that. It's the, the, those those are the guys that really made it, everything possible for abs- guys like me. Absolutely. It's right? that appreciation mm-hmm. that here you go again, Cadillac. There Look at the go. brake lights. <laughs> but it just goes to show you there is this is recognition, especially when, and that's why I like the Streetsville area because it's it's sort of like the older part of town and mm-hmm. you kind of drive a car which sort of belongs to this vintage and it's just so nice mm-hmm. you know people recognize it and uh it's it's special to see a car like this on the roads and to keep him running yeah 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 because yeah, it takes effort and money and everything else to make it uh, happen that's very true but you know i, I don't think i'll ever it. sell this car I, th- I i one thing that i promised the individual that i bought it from and my yeah. father that Come see me in 10, 20 years. You still have it. Still, it. Yeah, awesome. it'll still be alive. No, that's not you know, he's worked very, very, very hard to raise two, two young men and provide a life that he never had. So yes. it's been, it's been, it's been great to be able to just give back to the generations that have been able to set us up. Whether it's my father or anyone else, yes. it's been. And the sacrifices, you know, mm-hmm. he and your mom would have made coming to Canada and mm-hmm. trying to, you know, establish a. A foothold here and mm-hmm. uh, it's really a, it's a testament to the hard work and effort and a success story as well that all Very that effort true. paid off mm-hmm. and uh, you know to, to have the ability to kind of pay it back a little bit and just that recognition I think it's amazing yeah no uh, you know the, the the consequences of taking that risk I think played out perfectly for him but you know we, we don't we don't necessarily know what kind of what the outcome of the risk is that we're taking. However, it's worth all the reward at the yeah. end, right? I would agree with you. So it's, it's, been, it's been absolutely great for him and for my family and just to be able to give back like this, it's been great. But uh, 
We'll see. I, I got something planned for my mother soon. Oh, so, good for you. Yeah, it's I Mother's got, Day tomorrow. It is. I'm it is. Turn left it is. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't think she's going to get a Cadillac, <laughs> but. <laughs> I was about to ask you that, but okay. No, she. So, mom, if you're listening, uh, Mo apologizes. No caddy, but hopefully something just as nice. <laughs> no, that's wonderful. And at night, you have those two blinkers yes, on the front. Right and on. that blinks left or right, depending on your signal. Because it's such a long car, you get to see if your blinkers are actually on. <laughs> that is priceless. Yeah, it's, it's great. And we'll turn back in here. Yeah, it's a bit bright to me to make it out now. But I mean, that is, it's those little touches though, right? Like you feel nothing in this car. It's so comfortable. You wouldn't know how to V8 under it. I mean, this is just a driver's car, isn't it? You just oh, yeah. relax, put your foot, feet, uh, foot, you know, uh, cruise feet control, and, just, and that's, uh, that's about it. When our, when my niece and nephew, when they want to go to sleep, we take them out for a In ride. this one, Within right? Within 10 minutes, they're gone. I bet. The attention to detail, though, Mo. You're right. Like, even the bits of chrome on the side mm -hmm. door and everything else. They didn't have to do that. No, they, they did not. No, the chrome on the side of the yeah, doors, everything. Um, on the interior, exterior. Each door has its own cigarette lighter too. I mean, yeah. it really did cater to everybody. There's even dome lights on the inside. Yes, on the reading back, lights. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was reading, and those work as well. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been absolutely beautiful. It's been it's been great to to say the least. There's always something special about the Cadillac. Always will be. I think so. As long as they maintain the brand the same way they have for years and uh, even the newer generations. So, but this is amazing. Okay, Mo, what can I say? I want to, first of all, thank you for making this happen. You and I just chatted on the phone and through what? Facebook initially right. and- uh, A few days ago. Exactly. And That's I'm right. so thrilled to have to get to meet you. I was going to have my MG here, but it didn't quite happen. But <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you came. And it just brings back so many fond memories sure. of beautiful cars. And I it love does. the story behind it. It does. When you mentioned that to me when we chatted initially, I didn't really quite grasp what you were saying. Mm -hmm. I thought, okay, it's a car. Yeah, it meant something to your dad. But the way you've described it, it's, uh, oh, it's amazing. It was a promise kept. So it's a promise driven now. So. Awesome. Well, again, I want to thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having Keep me. Keep her alive and get her Always. to run as long as you Always. can. And uh, I'm sure your dad is definitely proud of you. And, yes, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Your Most brother, definitely. too. Most definitely. So, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.